Hello, everyone. Hello, David. Uh, I'm Vasek. I'm in Prague, Czech Republic. And I would like to introduce you to DevBook, a search engine for developers. So let's get right into the demo. Here, I am inside my coding editor, and I am working on my website. And I would like to detect an operating system of the visitors of my website, but I'm not exactly sure how to do that in JavaScript, but DevBook can help me with that. So I can open DevBook with a global shortcut, just like so, and I can start typing uh, right away. So let's search for what we need. And it seems like the first result is exactly what we need. And also this code snippet seems pretty useful. I can copy that with a shortcut, paste it into my code base. And just like that, I have the method for the operating system uh, in, uh, for, for, for our visitors. But I'm not exactly sure what is this window navigator object. But once again, DevBook can help me with that because in DevBook, we can also search in documentation. So switch there and I can search for, uh, I can search for the window.navigator. And once again, the first result is exactly what I need. It would be also cool if I could uh, read the documentation and code at the same time. And for that, we have the pin mode. So I can pin the book, resize it, and it will always stay on top of the coding uh, of the application I'm using. So I can code and read the documentation at the same time. And if I don't want to see the book anymore, I can just uh, hit the global shortcut again and get rid of it. So we launched in December and yesterday we had uh, 1200 daily active users. And DevBook is loved by dev communities across the whole internet. We are a team of two founders. We are both developers and have known each other for over 11 years and building projects together for the same time. So in the next three to five months, we want to hire uh, some engineers and include all existing libraries and knowledge for web development in JavaScript and then integrate DevBook deeper into the coding editors. We are raising our seed round, which will allow us to hire two to three engineers and completely replace Googling for solo developers. And then we will build DevBook for teams. So quick summary, DevBook is a search engine for developers. You can download it and use it for free right now. We are raising our seed round. So if you are a uh, investor interested in DevBook, uh, I want to connect with you. Thank you. What's the, um, what's the difference between the search capabilities that you guys provide and what's kind of natively available in like GitHub or, you know, oh, okay. mm -hmm. like whatever so, code repository the company is using? Yeah, so uh, we are not a, search, a code search engine. Uh, what you search for the book is the, all the information you need to finish uh, your task. So it might also be like information about your servers, about some documentation information and, and similar. And what you are searching often in uh, GitHub mostly, it's uh, searching for code. We actually had that feature in the first version, uh, but uh, their API was so bad that we had to remove it because uh, it wasn't uh, like uh, returning the stuff we needed. So it will come back, but we have to do our own indexing. Okay, interesting. Um, and have have you seen Source Graph? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, that's uh, a company I'm in. I'm invested in actually. How, how are you guys different than Source Graph? So, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, Source Graph is mostly a uh, code search, mm -hmm. and uh, I think DevBook and Source Graph can coexist together because, uh, like, we are more like a Bloomberg terminal for developers, or like. Uh, browser for developers, where you can find all the other information uh, to, that you need to uh, finish your task. And then you can use also source graph to see the examples inside of code repositories and code uh, in repositories of your team. But you, you also need all those packages and, and documentation and information about your infrastructure and all the discussion that happened on your Slack and everything around it, which we provide uh, with, with the book. So maybe, can you give me like an example? So uh, an example might be that uh, you want to uh, search for how to detect that operating system with JavaScript and we give you a result of, uh, of uh, the object uh, from window, window.navigator object that I showed you from documentation. We also give you result from different third party packages that can do it for all for you. We also search uh, Stack Overflow results, uh, all the discussion that happened on your internal Slack where you might have been uh, discussing this problem already, or maybe also GitHub issues or pull requests that are um, like related to this, to this problem and issue you are searching for. David, so how do you think about the um, situation? Obviously you're a famous founder, but 
<clears throat> not software engineer. So how do you think about, or at least lately, um, how do you think about evaluating something like this? The, uh, I mean, the first thing that came to mind for me, obviously, is, is Source Graph, which does universal code search because we led the Series B and I'm on the board. So, um, you know, it, so I think, like, broadly speaking, I, I like this idea because it's, I've already kind of invested in a similar version of it. Um, I think, uh, you know, I, I, I like, I like dev tools that can appeal to developers and get directly get distribution directly through sort of a prosumer model. So like the, the, those things are all good. I think the um, the thing I need to like really understand better is just how this is different than the existing solutions that you know may be further ahead in the market. Yes, yes, that makes sense. All right, good stuff, Vasek. Thank you so much.